Hey guys, welcome back to Porter Valley Ranch. I'm Zeke. And I'm Hi. Today we're going to Trenton, Nebraska to go uh, get a new Ibex from White Elk Ranch for my grandpa. So it is eight hours away. Last night we stayed in Kansas, but we've been driving for quite a while and we're finally one hour away. So um, hopefully you guys will get to come with us and to see all the cool animals. Hey guys, so we just arrived here at the White Elk Ranch uh, with Tad Puckett. He raises all kinds of uh, crazy animals. So we're here. Hey guys, we're here at the White Elk Ranch in Trenton, Nebraska. We're actually going to pick up a uh, breeder ibex for my dad, but. He's gonna give us a tour of his place. Um, he has raised many uh, world records and champions and all those kinds of things. So we're real excited to be here, excited to see what he's got and uh, mostly excited to learn. He, he is an expert in the field of raising these animals. So we're hoping to learn some things and see some things that we can take back and, uh, and implement on our farm. So uh, you guys are welcome to come along with us today and see what's going on. We're excited about it. Guys, this, you know, he, he's gonna shoot a dart. He's got this gun, but it has dart. It's got a, did you see him, that needle he loaded up? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. gonna go and hit that guy. So it, it's not gonna hurt him. Yeah. But it would kill us. Yeah. Or often mm -hmm. we kill you too. Yeah. But that, it's like he's giving a shot. And the <laughs> doctors get really snug that close to you or the nurse. Or Tad here, he takes a, these guys are, they're not afraid of him. Right his neck, right there. Right on. Five minutes? Yeah, the, 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 the deal with Rompum is, Rompum, well, uh, Which one is it? he's the fat guy. The big guy. He's that right, right there. there.
Now that is a big buck. Do you ever send in yours to these? Oh, I, I have, but uh, the new one is now there's enough of them around. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, Just try to prop him up against a wall. Use that bale if you need to. Let's see. Let me get a bucket. Go ahead and bucket. I think it's down. Okay. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah, roll. Okay, great. You can start off. All right. Um, let's drive up to the shade and we'll trim these hooks there. Get him a shot. That actually went pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's just gobby. <laughs> yeah, is that phenomenal? <laughs> that's unbelievable. Yeah, I like the trailer stamp. Um, this is an antibiotic here. So it didn't get sick. This is a warmer here. This is uh, Ivermec. Also a cure for coronavirus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to give him another an oral warmer here in just a minute. Put these out of the way. What do you use for the oral? I use Valbazin. Valbazin, okay. Yeah, Wait. so I'll have to reverse him and wait till he's almost ready to. We've Thumb used, uh, we've been using Prohibit. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a good one. He's, ble he's bleeding a little bit. Oh, yeah. Or he's bleeding. No doubt. Wait. Let's see how well. We need to take those little alfalfa strip things off. Yeah, eventually. Trimmers went too. Here they are. Let's see if I'm stout enough to cut this. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's a big hoof. Yeah. So we're going to reverse him with this stuff right here. So I give twice the amount of reversal that I've used to knock him out. I gave two cc's to knock him out. So we're going to use four cc's of this. I'm going to wait to give him a shot till the guy gets back with the oral warmer because it'll only take him a couple minutes and he'll be standing up. He's not halter broke? <laughs> he, he, he definitely broke. He'll break, he'll break everything he, he can. So that reverses the drug. And then this drug here makes him pop up. And then we, he only needs a small amount of this, so we'll wait till gets here and it only takes a couple minutes and he'll be good so he can't get the oral while he's knocked out because uh you know we don't want him to choke on it or go down in his lungs because he's not able to swallow right the one he uh, so it's a tricky deal of holding him and then you see that look in his eye which means he's about ready to explode <laughs> and getting and squirting it in his mouth at that Exact, exact moment, moment and then get out of the out of the way 
<laughs> you sound like you've done this a few times. Yeah, a few, few times. Um, and boy, it, when it happens, it's like... So what... This is about these. Okay, okay, so you give the warmer. Stomach warmer. Okay. So it's like alligator? Yeah, so you gave him a little bit of... Uh, I gave him uh, four cc's of... Uh, I have a max he's close. Four cc's of that and five cc's of uh, the antibiotic. Okay. So he's he's just ready to go. All of a sudden, you see the eyes go. They get yeah. big, and then you got about ten seconds to get the heck out yeah. of the way. <laughs> Yeah, because he's, he's, you know, lump them, they're groggy for a day. They're not groggy with this at all. Once it reverses, we're getting close. He's whining. We're getting close. See a big boy cry. Okay. Okay, we'll bring that tire, Josh. So we're going to have to put that tire up. Alpha and bales, and we'll put there and we'll get you some of that cheese. What do you think, Kai? Uh, I like it. What do you like? <laughs> I just think you've got to get, got a lot of good goats. Yeah, a lot of good animals. He's got sheep, goats, deer, reindeer, elk, everything. Well, he doesn't have any No. I got a set time. Maybe big horns. They're little, little big horns. Were they Clint? Were they like? Were they? Yeah, now I can tell it's sheep horns. Hi, hi, baby. Hi.
So how old is this one? Hey, bud. What's up? What's up, man? What do you think, man? Another object yeah. makes you feel good. So he'd come up and he'd be wanting to play with you, but <laughs> those, <laughs> those horns are, you know, 30 times denser and stronger here's than you your say. leg bones are. So yeah. your leg bones are better. Taking a nap. How are you sleeping? I'm trying to. Trying to. You're in you're in goat heaven and you're sleeping. What's that about? What's that about? What is it? Um, it's a mark horn. Uh huh. Uh, this one is blind. It has a twin over there. Um. Uh, but this one's a lot calmer than that one. It's like if you like touch it right away, it will just like just run away from you. But yeah. this one, it's like it will just stay there and let you. Why'd you scare him away? So as you can tell, we made it. Uh, it's dark, it's about nine o'clock. Uh, we drove 1,000 miles to go get a new Ibex uh, breeder buck. So we got him, he's here, and we are going to unload him, and then we still have to drive another hour to get back to our house. So we're gonna get this thing out of the trailer and get home. So we made it home. Uh, today is the next day because uh, when we got home, it was like 11:30 at night. So uh, I just wanted to share with you guys what I learned on this trip. Number one, driving a thousand miles in less than 48 hours is, is hard, <laughs> it's painful. Uh, but number two, it was worth it. Um, my dad got a new breeder for his herd, um, which is a pure blood zoo quality from the genetics of the Albuquerque Zoo. Um, so an awesome male that can pass on his genetics uh, and maintain the integrity of 
the breed uh, for generations to come. So we're really excited about that. I'm really excited for my dad, and obviously, because my dad's were partnering on this deal. So if, if he if he wins, I win. So that's great for both of us. Um, the other thing is though it, the education um, to be around somebody like Tad Puckett, who has been raising wild um, wild animals. Um, exotic animals for you know 30 years um, you can learn a lot you can learn a lot more spending a couple hours with somebody like that than you can reading books or, or even watching YouTube videos um, first-hand experience and being able to interact with that person ask them questions and glean from all of their years of, of knowledge is just invaluable so um, would I do it again yeah I'd, I'd make the drive again tomorrow I'm probably not going to because I have some things to do. If you can see my yard back here, it's gonna need mowed. But um, we, we learned a lot. The boys had a very, very educational experience. It was a great bonding time for all of us. Uh, it, it was actually pretty peaceful. Uh, the drive, thank you for devices and things like that, but also just, just being able to enjoy the beautiful scenery. If you've ever driven across Kansas, um, you know what it's like. And it's just kind of monotonous, yet somehow peace and calming of just being able to drive and not don't have to worry about the distractions around you so um, yeah I would do it again in a heartbeat um, I hope to be able to use some of the knowledge that that we got from being there with Tad um, here with our herd of animals but also in the future uh, this hopefully will turn into some sort of a business opportunity for us so I was able to ask him some industry related questions about how we could you know monetize this process um, it's obviously for a hobby it's for our family it's um, it's a responsibility for our kids but at the same time I mean, we are raising things that hopefully will be able to to pay for themselves and and more um, in the near future so to be able to ask some of those questions was great so uh, excited about the future excited about using the things that we learned back here on our farm and um, we'll see you guys next time and have a great day.